How are you? This is Ali at SafeNet. Uh, this is a, a soft, a, uh, an application that was created uh, in .NET C Sharp. Uh, it's a very simple sample about two buttons. One, one press display one, second one, two. That's it. So suppose that I'm a software vendor and I would like uh, to make a license which will consist of three different features. One is uh, to just allow working with my application. Second one is to allow someone to use this button which just creates one, of course it's a dummy one but just for demonstration. And the third feature will be for anyone who is allowed to use the two uh, button. So what I will do, let me just open the envelope from Vendor Suite. This is the vendor. Of course, the envelope, of course, uh, I will, I'm going to use the demo MA, which is for demonstration. But uh, once you have another batch code, you have to choose it uh, from here. Every vendor will have his own batch code. Now, the very, first, the very simple thing that I can do is just to drag the application into uh, the envelope and I will put it uh, in, in 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 C uh, no C and temp. Now look at what is going on. Uh, feature ID zero is going to be used as the first feature to be verified when the application starts, when the application is invoked and runs. Now here I have a list of other functions and I know that I have two functions here, here, here they are. Function which is called button one click which is called when button the first button is clicked and the other one is button two click which is called for the other button. Now what I will do if I stand on it I have here on the right the option to choose which feature it is going to be verified once button hot button one click is, is clicked. So I will choose maybe feature 8, once per program, or maybe every time that I, I use uh, button 1. And button 2 is going to be using feature number 13, let's say also every time. So by doing so I make sure that I have three different features to be verified. Feature 0 once the program starts and feature 8 every time button one button one is the the left one the, uh, and button third and button two is clicked then a uh, feature 13 will be verified i'm clicking on protect to create and that's it i can close it uh by the way i can i can save this uh uh project as as uh to be you know for using in the future the same settings uh, by doing this so I can get back to the same settings that I have created. But let's leave it for now. Let's go to uh, C temp where I put all everything and here you can see that there is a new created executable. Of course this is an enveloped application. In addition to it I also have other files that are related to uh, to the functionality of uh, the executable. Uh, I'm not going to elaborate on them but just bear in mind that if you have, have created using the envelope something uh, then you must uh, also include the other files uh, next to the executable so they have all to be together. So let's try. What I will do if I click on it, this, uh, this uh, uh, Messages is, is a dummy message for protect for demo MA only. It will not appear when you use your own batch code. So now I see uh, after a few seconds that uh, feature that this is the application. This is the protected application. Once I click on one, I get one. Once I click two, I get functionality unavailable because. Uh, it hasn't found uh, feature number 13. It doesn't exist here. So uh, 
this is a bit of a problem because this way I'm not able to continue but bear in mind that you can license it differently and you can make some changes to avoid this kind of messaging but about this I'll show you in another video. Thank you for watching.